Hello Pouring Nation, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the final pouring medium in the acrylic paint pouring roundup. The number one pouring medium that I came across based on color, dry, mix, and cost happens to be the golden color pouring medium gloss. Now the reason why this beat out the Tide for number two, which was Liquitex pouring medium and GAC, also golden, GAC 800, is because this pouring medium is about five to 10% cheaper than Liquitex. And that's retail price and has been for the last year or two that I've been acrylic paint pouring. Otherwise, all three of them get a five for how they dry, this is a painting I just did, and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, but these dry very gloss. You don't even need a, a finish after you've done this. You can put one on to change the texture or to change the, the light, but you really don't need one. In the pouring medium roundup, I used the same colors for all 11 pouring mediums, and this is the one for the gloss color pouring medium, and it just has a great color, and it dries well, it dries pretty flat, so dry, it got five out of five. For uh, mix, this actually mixes up quite, quite well. This is my dark blue I'm gonna use today. Um, and it only took a couple of seconds to integrate all together. I didn't have any of the problems that I had with some of the cheaper pouring mediums where like the blues and things like that take forever to integrate. So I really like that about this pouring medium. Color, as you can see, this is a pour I just did. I'm gonna do the same pour with the same colors. Um, the reason why I'm not using this one is because my camera died in the middle of the shoot and while I was recharging the battery, I forgot to mix the paints up really well and it had a little bit of uh, silicone oil in it. So I got these big, huge um, silicone cells, which I didn't really like. Some of these really small cells, I liked them a lot, but uh, the majority of the, the paint went into the big cells, so I did not like that one bit. So we're just gonna re-pour this with similar colors. The other thing is I had too many browns, and they were spaced apart too much, so I got more brown than the blue and the purple. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, one thing I will say about the color pouring medium in the color pouring medium from Golden, is it had one of the worst smells. It's not bad at all, but it did have one of the worst smells of all the pouring mediums that I did. You'll want to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. You know, I just opened the window in my shop here, and or my uh, art studio here, and it art studio being extra bedroom, and it works just fine. The other thing I really like about this, actually, of the the pouring mediums that are professional, it was the easiest to clean off my fingers. Now, my fingers got dirty just from uh, mixing up the paints, but this, uh, washing in the sink or in the shower will come right off. A lot of the other ones you really have to scrub to get it off, especially Liquitex, but uh, the color pouring medium works really well. Again, back to the painting that I did with all of the uh, pouring mediums. This was a tree ring pour, which had some great colored separation. Um, some great rings that it made and then this was the dirty pour with silicone and silicone does work Okay with this. It's not the best with silicone, but you can get some pretty good uh, cells as I, I mentioned here my little tiny cells some of those are really pretty But definitely don't leave it if you do leave it make sure you stir it up before you do it again or else you get these big huge cells Which uh, I didn't like so I'm gonna re-pour on golden just price wise this eight ounce bottle is generally about uh, $11.99, 12 bucks, which makes it $1.50 per ounce. If you buy it in the 128th ounce, which is the one gallon um, size, it only is, right now it was about $90 per 128 ounces, which makes it about 70 cents per ounce instead of about 75 that some of the other pouring mediums were. The Liquitex and the GAC 800 were a little bit more expensive. Again, that's really the only reason why this was a barely half step above the uh, Liquitex or the GAC 800 because of the cost. I do recommend if you're gonna buy this pouring medium, buy it in bulk. You'll save so much money. Go to Michael's, go to uh, Amazon or a place like that. If you're gonna go to a craft store, make sure you get a coupon. You get a 60, 50, 40% coupon for the 85 bucks and then you're talking about 30 or $40 for 128 ounces of paint. 
that goes a long way and it's really nice to work with a professional pouring medium. So today I actually got, I just found some colors that I really liked online, printed out the colors, and then I made up these colors with all the different random colors that I had today. I will tell you, this is not my specialty. Uh, it took a long time to figure these colors out, but I'm starting to gradually learn what colors I can mix together. For example, I have a, uh, this one is just a ultramarine blue and then some black. And I made a color that is very similar to that. You get better and better at that with practice. I don't do it a lot. Usually I use the regular colors, but I wanted this specific palette uh, now that fall is coming on. So definitely try that in your acrylic paint pouring. Now we're gonna layer these. Uh, these are my two main colors. This one has ultramarine blue, which is transparent. And this one has plum purple, uh, actually in a couple other purples that I put in, which is semi-transparent. So I made up way more of these than these three, which are all opaque. So hope, I'm hoping that I can get this color, as you can see here, to come out a little more than these browns that I didn't like on the first take. I'm trying to do one of these main colors in between all of these browns. Now I did make a brown that I didn't like. So we're going to use that kind of as my base. And this will all get rolled over with the other paint so I don't have to worry about it too much. This really is just making some additional paint to slip on the outside of my painting. One thing I didn't mention earlier is this pouring medium done by itself is quite transparent. It's very slightly off-white, but as you can see, you can see the painting through that. And it's got good thickness, it's got good texture, it's pliable, a little bit more pliable than the Liquitex, but um, still very strong. So again, just another, when it's dry, it's a nice pouring medium there. And last but not least, this is a 12 by 12, 144 square inches, plus an extra 24 makes 168 square inches. Divide that by 25, that means I need about seven ounces of paint. That is about how much I have here. This is a 16 ounce cup, um, not quite half, so that's about seven ounces of paint, especially if you include this here. This pouring medium also does create quite a lot of bubbles, so I do recommend create, pouring your paint, getting it all mixed up, putting a wet paper towel or something over the top, let it sit for an hour or two at least, let the uh, bubbles kind of come to the surface and then pour, you won't get all these tiny bubbles that I got. One thing you also need to recognize, this sets up really fast. So when you pour, you gotta move it off, you can't let it sit for a while or it will set up on you. This only takes about 12 hours to dry to the touch, where most pouring mediums take more like 36 to 72 hours. So again, you have a little bit compressed time frame with this pouring medium. Again, this is the color pouring medium from Golden. It's about two parts pouring medium to one part paint. Some of the Arteza paints I used four or five parts pouring medium to one part paint. But again, you can get beautiful colors. And when it comes to dry, mix, dry color, cost, this one came out highest in my Scoring system at 4.5 out of 5 with Golden GAC 800 and Liquitex Gloss Pouring Medium coming in second place at 4.3 out of 5. I hope you do try this and continue to experiment and to expand your knowledge with acrylic paint pouring and just enjoy it.